Hubbard. They fake the dribble handoff. Brazzo will keep it at the foul line. Brazzo shot good. 6-3. Right, got on Pierce. Swings it to Clements. Clements trying to get ahead. Out the back door. Good on his right-handed drive. Maybe on Howby. Nice back door cut by Elliott. Swings it to the corner. Corner three ball by McGowan. Good. Draining the trap. Back to there. Back to Miles Harris. Got to make something happen. Five on the shot clock. McGowan's three is good from the corner. Again, he's Harris, the, he's playing two. Approaching the eight-minute mark here in the first half. Hardy trying to take everybody. Got him to the basket. Banked it in. Here in the corner, Turner looking to drive baseline. Does a great job of getting a step on Hallaby and finishes at the rim. Hardy, Clements. Ball fake gets into the paint. Tries to finish. Does so. A little floater there from Clements. Get up to right. Right looking to try to get towards the paint area. Turn around jump shot by right is good from about 12 feet. Brazel trying to make something happen. Fade away shot to foul line. No good. Hubbard with the offensive rebound. Nice step through. Got the finish. Brazel back to Hardy. Hardy in the paint. Jump shot. Good. Right has it now on the right side for the Tigers. Gets into the paint area. His man fell down, so now Wright will take the open shot and make it. Now switches off on Pierce. Pierce will go baseline. Nice dunk down to Johnson. Blocked from behind by Hubbard. Yeah, great defense from Hubbard. And Hubbard's up ahead to McGowan, who's open for a three. Thought about a three. Faked the three. Finds Hubbard underneath. Hubbard fights and scores it underneath. So now he got the reverse layup to go. To Johnson. Stolen by Clements. Clements trying to go downhill. One on two. He'll try to take them both on. Got him. Basket's good, 54-52, and that's Elliott. Swings it to Brazel. Brazel thought about a deep three, and now he'll get into the lane. Floater, good. That's a tough shot. That's right in the back of the lane. On Johnson, back out now to Brazel. Ten on the shot clock. Brazel turns and shoots a three. Got it. That's the first three-pointer tonight. On 59, no timeouts left for either team. Two and a half seconds left. You make one, it's a three-point game. You make two, it's basically over. Brazel's first one. Good. 62-59. Again, you make this, you can just let them do whatever for two and a half seconds on the court. You miss it, it becomes an interesting chance to heave one. Brazzles knocked them both down, 63-59. Well, yeah, that was a, a very exciting, very exciting game. I mean, the, the atmosphere in there tonight was unbelievable. Thank you to everybody who came out and supported. Uh, it was electric, man. It was electric, I thought, a lot of times when when Emory was going on some runs, the, the crowd's energy, especially on the defensive end for us, kind of got us back into it um, and was huge. But uh, major, major grit show by the team tonight. You know, and, and we had just we just seen a game like that where it's a close game and um, we, we needed to make some plays down the end to, to seal it. And I thought tonight we did it, you know. So it was a great learning experience for us. And to be able to turn around and kind of put into action was huge. So big win, big win. We got a quick turnaround, though. Yeah, big win tonight. Very exciting. Like Coach said, the atmosphere was insane. Um, it's just a lot of fun being in the NCAA tournament. Um, it's an honor to keep playing in it, too. Um, Emory's a really, really good team. It means a lot to go up and compete against them in the stage. And I'm really proud of the way that we fought tonight. And we showed a lot of grit on the boards, um, on the defensive end, um, holding you know one of the best scoring teams in the country to 59 points. says a lot about our grit. So I'm really proud of our effort tonight. Uh, yeah, same as he says, just one game at a time, just one play at a time, just just one position at a time, all the way down into the ch championship. And big thank you to the crowd tonight for just a all the energy they bought us and helped us come away with a win tonight. Coach K, Coach Kimbrough, uh, what was some of the biggest keys to your uh, team success tonight? Well, you know, I mean, I think all week we just talked about um, – you know, defensively, how we needed to be together. Uh, their point guard is exceptional. I mean, the guy can really go. Uh, obviously, they got some big men that hurt us too. 24 for them, I thought had a great night. He's a senior for them. Um, that played really well. But for us, I mean, we, we, we were focusing in on you know how tough we needed to be on the rebound. You know, we thought we could force them into some difficult shots, but that's the first part of the defense. You gotta you gotta go get the rebound after that. And early, I thought, you know, they were able. They were bigger. And they were able to get some boards, and, and we adjusted. I thought we just had to scrap, you know. We kind of have to get everybody in there to help get the boards sometimes, and, and we did that. And we came up with some huge plays. I thought at the end, our defensive pressure, you know, it's all defense rebounding for us, and our defensive pressure 
sped them up and um, the way we could scramble. You know, RC made some monster plays, just getting a hand on the ball. Um, AB the same way. So, uh, yeah, our defense and rebound definitely hang our hat on that. And, you know, I know they got some O boards in the first half, but I thought just our ability to scrap and stick with it was huge. So, Adam, um, what adjustments would you say you made after the first half? Um, I don't really know if I made any adjustments. I just kept playing, knowing that, uh, you know, we would we would find our groove eventually. And, um, you know, I didn't have any threes fall in the first half. I think I was over five, and then I hit one. Um, and my team, my teammates just told me to keep shooting it. Um, coaching staff kept encouraging me to shoot. And um, I made my free throws down the stretch, which I was really proud of. And eventually we got the win. Yeah. All right, RC. Um, what would you say was really working for you tonight? You know, what did you think the defense was giving you? Uh, just getting downhill whenever I wanted. Honestly, I felt like any time I attacked, I could get downhill all the way and make a play for myself or for somebody else. So just keep trying to be aggressive and just keep getting downhill and, and putting a lot of pressure on that big man. Coach, looking forward to tomorrow night, Christopher Newport. What's your mindset going into tomorrow's game? Yeah, I haven't flipped there quite yet. I'm still letting this one soak in and enjoying it a little bit. Um, but when we get there, uh, you know, we played these guys before. Uh, we played them without their big man. He was very dominant offensively down there. Um, yeah, I mean, our, our mindset will be, uh, you know, what do we need to take away? How are we going to put ourselves in a position to get stops? I think offensively, um, you know, we have some ideas on how we can attack. They, they pressure man-to-man -man defense. That, uh, honestly, they're, they're somewhat similar to Emory in a few ways. Uh, so we may be able to take some things that we did tonight and transfer it over to tomorrow. But the key for us is to be fresh. You know, it's just to be fresh, is to be confident in, in executing a game plan, whether that's, you know, one day turnaround, it's going to be pretty simple. Uh, we're going to rest on what we've done all year, more so than worry about what someone else has done. But um, we're excited. We're excited. We'll turn around tomorrow and we'll figure out a way to get it done. Adam, when it comes down to those last final possessions, when it was a two point game, what was your mindset? Um, offensively, my mindset was uh, let's get into a, like a pick and roll, me and Hub, um, see if we can create off of that, see if I can get to the paint, um, create for others, or create a shot for myself. I think that's a pretty effective way for us to close a game with me and Hub. And uh, on the defensive end, I was just thinking let's sit and let's crash the board and uh, and get the offense. One last question for Ryan. Ryan, you're always a personality on the court. What's it like playing in a big game like this? At Oh, it's great. It's honestly probably not a better feeling than sports. It's playing in front of you, your home crowd. It's late in the season. So, so just using that to feel me and to feel the guys is a great experience.